So right now we're waiting because they're going to send all the alpacas out through here. They're going to come down this alleyway and they're going to take them around the house. What they're doing is they're sorting out the boys and the girls and they're actually flip-flopping their, their uh, barns that they stay in. The nice thing about these animals, they never run into you. Oh. They totally respect your space. Not like a cow that'll run you over? Not like horses, not like cows. Okay. They will have absolutely no interest in running into you. So they didn't want to move, obviously, and then they did move, and once that first one went, they were just off like a shot, and it was like they just flew through there. It was, it was pretty cool. They're really interesting the way that they react to each other. You know, they're just free-flowing, but then they're, they were definitely part of a group, so very cool. They're named, they're registered, they're microchipped. It, their background is DNA verified on the registry. So we track the entire lineage of the herd and we track all their fiber data. So each animal has their own little spreadsheet. So you can go the other way. <laughs> but see, I mean, they're just so simple to maneuver. I mean, I wouldn't try that with horses or, and sheep and goats seem to have minimal respect for people, <laughs> I think. And these are very responsive animals. So it makes so, life so much easier for us. What isn't easy for most people is to know the difference between an alpaca and a llama. But according to Jane, there are clear physical and behavioral distinctions between the two. The alpacas have a spear-shaped ear. They're much woollier than the llamas, and their personality is extremely different. Llamas are very analytical. They're more aloof. They make decisions. So you have to work with a llama, and a llama has to agree with you. But they're, they are the most incredible animal. 